part C. Solve g of fx equals 0. So we know what g of fx is from part B. It's this quadratic down here. It's going to be x squared plus 2x minus 4. And when does that equal 0? Now there's a few ways of solving this. We can either do it without a calculator using the quadratic formula. Or we can use a calculator as it is a paper too. So I'm going to quickly show you how to find the answer by graphing it. So let's go to a new graph. I'm going to type in our function. So x squared plus 2x minus 4. And when does this function equal 0? Now equaling 0 just means when does it intercept this uh, x-axis here. And we can find that by going menu, analyze graph, and 0. Now it will ask for a lower bound than upper bound because there's two answers here. This is the first one. And I'll do it again, menu, analyze graph, 0. And this is the second one. So these are the two x answers, negative 3.24 and 1.24. So I'm just going to, using our GDC, our graphics display calculator, and I'm going to tell them I graphed, graphed tool. Just show a quick little sketch. It was, okay, it looked a little bit like this. We know that x equals negative 3.24 and x equals, and it was 1.24. Okay, that's the answer to part C.